In this video, I will be showing you how to take a JPEG image. Now this can be an image or this can be an image made in paint and convert it to a bitmap and then adjust it so it can be cut out as a DXF for the table. First we're going to start out in paint to kind of give you the general idea of what you can do in paint. Paint is a very simple program to use. Most people know it from just using it in the past just to draw something. You could draw a part, say let's do a square with a couple circles in it. Now let's say this was just a part you needed to make. You can go up to file, save as, save it as a JPEG. After you save it as a JPEG, you can save it to your desktop. After you've done that, you can go down here to Inkscape and open up Inkscape. We're going to use a sign already, Sharice's sign, Sherry's sign that we've already made in Paint. We're going to import that. Now you could do signs, you could do logos, just about anything that's a JPEG image. You can even do um, photographs, but those are kind of hard to cut out. I'm going to go to File Open. I'm going to go down here. This is our JPEG sign we made earlier. We're going to open that up. Now, you can see those are sign we made in paint earlier. What we're going to want to do now is select the sign. So we have our arrows. After we've done that, we're going to go up to Path, Trace Bitmap. We're going to leave our uh, brightness cutoff at 0.45 smooth and stack scans. We're going to hit update. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to exit this. Click our drawing. Scroll it over. And you'll see this one right here is a lot more clear than this one. The one we dragged over is the final product. So now we're going to click on this other one and hit backspace or delete. Now, just to make sure everything went right, we can go up here to edit nodes and now we can see the whole piece has been broken apart so now if you want you can edit your drawing so say this is your final sign or logo or whatever you have that you created to a bitmap now you can go to file save as we're going to save this as a DXF. We're going to name this Paint JPEG Sign. Now we're going to hit save. I'm saving this to my desktop. We're going to save it as a LW Polyline. Next, what we're going to want to do is go over to VACAD. Now VACAD is going to scale this. There is a way to scale it in Inkscape, but VACAD is a little easier to do and quicker. So now what we're going to do is File, Import. We're going to import as a DXF. Now we're going to find our JPEG sign, which happens to be right here. We're going to open that up. Now what we're going to want to do is find any little imperfections or any little extra pieces that we don't want like this right here. I'm going to hit backspace to delete it. Now since this is going to be a sign, we're going to want to create a box around it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Drag and drop. Now say we want to have this sign about 35 inches wide. We're going to find this endpoint here. Go up. Draw a line. Make our length 35 inches. Now we're going to get our selection tool. Click on the bottom left. Hold the mouse key down, drag, and then drop to highlight this. Now we go down here and select our scale tool. We're going to click on the left side of the image, click on the very right side, and then click at the end of our line for our scale. Now, the length of the sign is 35 inches. You can select this line again and hit backspace to delete it. 
Next, what we're going to want to do is highlight the image one more time, go up to Edit, Group, and we're going to want to group this. We're going to group this so the sign becomes one piece. So if there's any little imperfections in lines, there will not be any cut lines. Now what we're going to want to do is go up to File, Export, save this as a DXF. We're going to save it as Sign test. Save it to our desktop. Now after it's been saved, we go down here and open up Sheet Cam. Now after we open up Sheet Cam, we go to File, New Part. Do you want to import a drawing to this part? Yes. We're going to look for our sign test, which is right here. We're going to open that up scalings in inches drawing position bottom left and there you go you can see the sign is here on sheet cam next what we're going to want to do is our operations we're going to do inside offset layer one make this cut speed at 80 inches making this out of let's say 316 aluminum now i'm going to go up here to my edit contours right click on the outside layer, move to layer, we're going to do new layer out now we're going to do one more operations we do outside offset for our outside layer 150 inches per minute we're going to hit OK now this is ready to cut so what's left to do would just be to go up here to the pulse processor save it as sign test Post processing complete. Hit OK. Now you would just open this up in Mach 3, zero your table out, and you will be able to cut it out.